Hello, all, and welcome back to my reaction of Final Fantasy VII Mission of Bridge, episode 24. And, yeah, I know now for that it, episode 25 is 100% absolutely, definitely, and if you haven't watched episode 25, stop here, or skip ahead to the video itself, because, uh, or, no, you know what, stop here, go watch episode 25, come back. You should have already watched episode 24. Honestly, it's been a while. You should have watched all of it before me. <laughs> I now know because I was surfing the internet and stumbled across it on a completely unexpected face. <laughs> I should have known and I, I, I learned away, but apparently it was enough to make someone cry. Multiple cry. So, uh, that's all I really got. Crying, Eris. And flowers, and that's really all I needed to know. That episode twenty-five is her death. I was already suspect suspicious of it. That fucking all right confirmed it. Anyway, let's get to that book. Then go south until you see a small island. You got it, little lady. Hey, so I know I'm kind of relegated to the bad guy corner, but can we really trust someone who's literally leaving us blindly? You are absolutely the last person who should be talking about trust right now. Let me ask you something, you spy cat. When you were climbing that Shinra corporate ladder, what was weighing you down more? Your pockets full of blood money or the souls you crushed along the way? Aerith was right about the keystone and where to find it. She's probably right about where the Temple of the Ancients is, too. Yeah, I'd like to know what the was up with that, if you don't mind. Yeah, how'd she know? <gasps> oh my god, are you psychic? Just remember I'm picking up! Do it, do it, do it! I... I can hear voices in my head. You hear voices in your head? Yes, I think it's the piano. Tell it I'm not sorry for peeing on them. Also, hi. My mom... Elmira once told me that the Septra were able to communicate with the planet long ago. Humans hmm. used to be able to also, but they lost that ability once we started hearing more about material things in their home. It was nine beats you dub. Nine was the number. Well, your abilities have been great on our journey, Aerith. You're really special. Boy's right. At least you ain't my grandpappy Sid the Eighth. He was a respected headmaster at a mercenary school. Disgrace. Plus, you're not a backstabbing son of a bitch like <laughs> Turn this into crap on tape this day. I vote we make it a week. I <laughs> something, Ashley. Why are you still even here? Well, because I bet the fucker called up the church to say we were coming so they could ambush us. But so what? Or maybe you're recording live so your friends from Shinra can hear us. Do not call those people my friends. Then why, Kate? Why is your greedy corporate fat cat ass even here? Because I fucking hate my job. I've seen firsthand what Shinra has done. <laughs> All the things they've destroyed. Homes, dreams, lives, and if it means they can make a few more bucks, the planet will probably be next. I know you guys don't trust me, but I can't just sit around anymore and watch them abuse their power like this. That's why I'm coming with you. You're right about a few things, Kate. Shinra needs to be stopped, and that we don't trust you. That's why you're coming into the temple with Aerith and I. And if you even think pulling the shit you did... Oh, don't worry! You're not the one that... He, you won't have to worry about him. <laughs> you can drop you from the top floor like the Sector 7 plate. I think they hate you. At least I'm being thought of. <laughs> This is really reviving my urge to play this game. But now I'll have to wait until, until I eventually get to it via whatever method I have at the hand. Pretty sure I'll use the Steam version. Okay, but why is she laying face down on a bridge? Does she think she'll get better reception? Let's go six feet under to test that theory. There was a way we could help her out instead of just standing here. Well, what if we try talking to the planet? Aerith said humans were able to before they got all materialistic, right? Hmm, worth a shot. Let's go back to the barter system. I prefer growing my own crops. The latest innovation to make your life easier? Pass. I'm completely fine. Uh, am I the only one who's noticed that his shoulder has gone weird? Horrible. I 
like a Tonberg's nightmare, or a behemoth in labor. Or Tung! Tung, are you all right? He was going to be my next guest. It's having a nice day, are we? Why are you still with Cloud? Let's just say that due to decisions made by upper management, I'm looking for other work. I don't blame you. What happened? Elena and I were sent here to find information on the promised land. Elena left to inform Chenua of our findings. <laughs> and then Sephiroth attacked. Sephiroth? Where is he? Forget Sephiroth! We gotta call for help! There's no time! We have to go now! But we can't just leave him here. No. Cloud is right. Sephiroth must be stopped. Besides, I should be I ah! Probably shouldn't tell him Shinra doesn't have a sword attack. <laughs> Take the keystone and place it on the pedestal. Then find a room with murals. That was where I last saw Sephiroth. Don't worry, Stark. We'll take him out in no time. Okay, so run me through this again. Place it in the hole. Which hole? Have you tried turning it off and on again? What? My apologies. I'm dying. Yeah, but he's a little ahead of you in that race. Holy kitty litter! I knew the temple was gonna be something, but I wasn't expecting it to be this. Amazing. I hate you. This place is insane. How are we gonna find Sephiroth in this mess? I know it looks tough, Cloud, but don't worry. We can do this. You're right, Eric. Together, we can do anything. Plus, you could always ask the plants for help, right? Oh, we can ask those spiteful things. No, no. One of the few spirits of the ancients. They live in the temple, protecting it. They live in this place? And if there's only a few, then one of them must be King Sephiroth. They lost the ability to speak. Let's go ask them. Have you seen Sephiroth? Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you seen Sephiroth? Oh, God! Have yeah. you yeah. seen yeah. Sephiroth? Yeah. All in all, it sounds like they knew nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, puns. Ah. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to that Satan. That big moment in gaming that broke so many people. You know, I can totally see how that would break people. It kind of didn't have that much effect on me because I had already had it spoiled for me for years. Ugh. Ugh. What Sung said is right, so is. There we go. Eh, she fixed the audio as a whole, anyways. Sephiroth! Oh no! Sung, look out! <laughs> Welcome, Cloud. Hello, oh, Sephiroth. Isn't it? All this knowledge. It seems like a waste just to keep it locked away. Or perhaps it's for the best. Keeping secrets to protect us. Maybe it's best for the truth to never be revealed. Think of all the damage it could cause. Why don't you think of all the damage I'm about to cause on your ass? Oh, so please stop teleporting us. Sephiroth, <laughs> why are you here? Is this the promised land? This temple is not our promised land, but rather the key to fulfilling my and mother's plan. When the planet is injured, it uses energy to heal itself. But what would happen if there were an injury so large it could destroy the planet itself? The amount of energy needed to heal would be godlike. Well, anything that large would require something like a nuke or a giant monster attack or a or, uh... from the sky. Black materia contains yeah. the ultimate destructive matter. meteor. Meteor. Once Meteor collides with the planet, it will summon a colossal amount of energy. Energy that I will absorb. Why I does Meteor even exist? Planet, really? I Who made that spell? A god. That ain't happening, because we're stopping you right now! Oh, Cloud. How can you stop me when you have no control? Sephiroth! Cloud! You can't hide! From me! Cloud? The black materia, meteor, black materia, meteor. Cloud? 
I'm, I'm Cloud. I'm Cloud. And this is coming to the head. I am Cloud. Oh hey, what's up? Cloud, are you all right? Yeah, cool as a cactar. Well, with your hair that spiky, it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to lighten the mood up after finding out the world's gonna end. Well, that's not going to happen because... Because we're gonna find Sephiroth and take him down. Actually, I was going to say that without the black materia, Sephiroth won't be able to summon Meteor, so we should... Find Sephiroth and kill him! Cloud... Let me handle this, Aerith. Sephiroth looking for the black materia too, right? So how about we, we can set a trap for him? You made it worse. Now let's find something to use as Sephiroth bait, like this thing. Yeah, you know, removing the black material was probably a terrible idea. Why did we do that in game? This is the black materia. Great. So we just wait here till Sephiroth gets. No, Cloud. This whole temple, it's the black materia. Oh. Did the ancients know that material would eventually have to fit into sword holes? That floating temple is a model of the one we're in right now. And inside it is a device that makes the temple and everyone in it smaller each time a puzzle is solved. So then if we solve the puzzle, it'll be small enough for us to take. Yeah, except that whoever solves the puzzle will be crushed. We volunteer. Kate, can you please tell your giant cute friend to not joke around? No, Mog's serious. We volunteer. You see that, Mog? He thinks you're cute. T Wait, did that happen? Look. Oh wait, no, robot. He just sent another copy. Come on, I'll take you guys to the exit. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Kate. Look, I know you betrayed us. I know he's not removing the party until later. Mr. Kitty Sick, please don't go. Hey, come on, don't cry. I'll still be around. Hey, how about I do one last fortune for you guys on the house? Come on, ask away. All right. Yeah, he will still be around. Cloud and I be together forever? Uh. It says you two will always be with each other, no matter what. Do you mind? Why? Well, see you guys on the other side. I wanted to work for Shinra because I wanted to help people. I guess I was naive in thinking that a faceless I'm 80% sure uh, he didn't die if anything, I feel like in the game permanently. That's why I Cat Sis is a robot, so he just sent another duplicate in it his place. Back at later. I know. But if this will help save the world, that'll be one hell of a start. It's only Eris who gets permanently removed. Now that we've got the black materia, we can give it to me. Sephiroth! Our trap worked! Cloud, we have to get out of here! No way! We've got the black materia! We're stronger than him now! Oh. Let's just see how strong you are, Cloud. <laughs> do as your master commands. I'm weak. Give me the black materia. Don't do it! It's scary. Obey. Resist! I don't know what to do. Cloud! Cloud! Could have sworn he only gave. Cloud. Oh, I thought he gave them a material later, not at this hey point. Hey there, folks! Take this too. Reported for duty. <laughs> Robots, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, a little late there, buddy. Oh, oh, God damn it! Encoding errors now. Now. You were fine before. What changed to make things worse? Yeah. Well, hopefully it wasn't too bad. It d didn't seem to be that bad last time. But you never know. Uh, right. That was a good episode. Like, I, I, I can't really comment more on than what I've commented on the plot, uh, on the game plot itself. Why did... Cloud do... Why did we take it? I mean...
what was the justification Cloud lose? Because I know the real reason he took it is because Sephiroth told him to. I also saw he only handed over one after Aerith died, and on that big scene where he walks up, hands it over, and then boom. Only one left. Yeah, it's almost over. Only one left. I honestly wish I had finished it off last week before I got I got the uh my suspicions were confirmed, but eh. The show's I don't like the show. It's funny. I and I like with TFS I do like the serious ones. I, I like them especially more here with what Cal Kate doesn't have on this episode. Like I'm increasingly convinced Tate like well, I barely remember that Kate says might be not rude or sung. It's that one guy who uh objected to the plate being dropped in the meeting. I think he's the financial op guy. Or the uh resident he's not the financial. Maybe he's the uh one in charge of uh what's that word you were for people who manage his living places? Whatever. That guy. Property. I forget. I'm eighty percent sure that's the guy. And like, yeah, I, I think well done. I'm like, hey, I'll still be with you. And he was right. Cat says too, reporting for duty and all that. Like I said, it's been forever since I actually played the game. Uh, near the end there, I was playing the game with months and one point a year in, in between playthrough, playing it. Not playthroughs, playing it. Because of how shitty my controls were. It really sucks when you get into a good game session and then the thing randomly turns off because you accidentally press the button too hard. I was playing on the PSP. But, yeah. Most of my deaths that I know I came from later, like that. Eric's death didn't really get me in the game, so I'm hope, kind of hoping they might be able to do it now. Especially since I'm kind of emotional after watching the Ruby uh, finale. Ruby 6 finale. So, uh, yeah, that, that's when, uh, that's how long ago that this I recorded this. It's going to be a long time before anyone sees this. Uh, also, uh, actually, I am thinking of just recording a bunch more than I normally do, and then, you know, going full hog to free videos a week. Maybe even back when I'm doing DuckTales and Ruby back-to-back, -back, still recording a third thing. But I'm not entirely sure. Anyways... Next up... We're gonna do uh, episode 25. Until, until then, thanks for your sign out, and I will see you all later, folks.